What's up guys? Sean here. Just joking. I'm not Sean. It's your boy. Sediac. You're probably wondering, where is Sean? Why am I seeing your face on here? What, what's, what's going on? Well, Sean is currently out of town right now and um, he scheduled some videos for when he was away. But he realised he scheduled them at the wrong time. Rather like, you know, you know, to come out, I think in, in the midday, they're coming at like midnight and he's not happy about that. So he hit me up and he said, yo, Sediac, can you just log into my account and just change the scheduled times of the video so, you know, all my subscribers can see the videos. And I thought to myself, yeah, I'll do it. You know, I'm a nice guy. Then I logged in and rather than scheduling the videos at the right time, I decided to delete, delete today's video and uh, upload my very own. I mean, he's out of town. He can't stop me doing this. So I thought, you know, what does Hit Midget hate more than anything in the world? And then I realised, it's the British. So I thought, i do a video. It's going to be the most boringest video in the world. Secretly, it's going to be the best video that's ever been uploaded to his channel. But I'm going to, you know, make a cup of tea and some crab fits. Why not? He can't stop me doing this. So, Midget, I'll show you how to make a cup of tea. Some tasty crab fits. And uh, in the future, I expect to see more tea and crumpets from you. So, uh, he's probably going to hate me for doing this. So, if you see this right now, before he deletes the video, come to your boy, subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into this. Okay then, so step one for making the world's greatest cup of tea. You're going to need a few ingredients. You're first going to need a kettle. Yeah, you know, kettle midget. I know you don't know what a kettle is. Make sure it's got some water in. Yeah, it's got some water in. Where's the line? You can normally see it wiggle. It's there somewhere. Pull it on the base, press the button, and now we sit here and we wait for the water to get hot and hotter. It's making noises. The water's getting warm. And guess what? Meow. Hello, cat. How you doing? Bye cat. It was nice knowing you. So yeah, you just sit and wait. So as we start waiting now for the kettle to be boiling in the background, there's a few more things we gotta get now. We need a cup, we need a spoon, some sugar, some milk, and most importantly, we need a tea bag. Right, the kettle is reaching the point the point of boil. We grab a cup. This one looks good enough. There we go. There we go. So first steps then in the cupboard, among all the G fuel, grab the tea bags. There we go. You know my, my preferred brand is a little bit of a English breakfast twinings because you know we're all posh and all that. So there we go. Look, I got half a box because I drink so many. Right, I gotta somehow. Well, somehow try and break this now with. Oh, there we go. One hand. Genius. Look at that. One tea bag goes in the cup. Right. There we get the kettle with its freshly boiled water. And in the finest filtered tap water goes in there. Look at this. The water is turning golden brown, midget. You taking you taking notes here? See that water boiled? It ain't going no microwave. Kettle, mate. Kettle. Right, I've got a spoon here somewhere. There we go. So we're going to marinade the tea, as you once called it in a video you made, which is the worst thing you could have ever said in the whole entire world. There we go. Look at that. It's looking beautiful. Now, while it stews in there and brews a little bit, now, we need to add a little bit of sugar. My, uh, my go-to scoops, if you want to make a proper British cup of tea, let's get the top off there, because look at that. Look at that. That is diabetes in a tin. We go one scoop, make sure I don't spill it. One sugar, two sugars. And that makes it perfect, mate. Makes the cup of tea perfect. Look at it. Look how dark it is right now. There we go. So then, what we're going to do then? This is a little bit difficult to do it with one hand. We're going to scoop the tea bag. Hold on. Hold on. Scoop it. There we go. Scoop the tea bag out, mate. Pull it in your little tea bag holder with past tea bags because you always want to reminisce on previous cups of teas and how good they were. And there we go. The cup of tea is ready to go. There's one final thing left, which 
you know, many people don't realise this, this next ingredient is the most important. Leave the sugar there for a British cup of tea. And that needs to add some milk. You ain't got a cup of tea without the milk. So, milk's in the fridge. We walk over to the fridge and uh, open it up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Close the camera. Turn it round. Could you boys goodies? Yeah, boy. Milk. We need it. Boom. Close the fridge. Got the milk. Blow top, whole milk. Full of complete fat. Because, you know, you ain't on no diet. You think I'm making a diet cup of tea? Get out of here. And, you know, this is important. You, you don't want to put the milk in first with the tea bag. It's always the water. Look at that goldenness there. Look at it. Look, 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 at, look at the texture. Look at the shade of brown. Perfection. Look at it spinning. Oh no, we got a, we got a foggy lens. Uh oh. So now it's time for the taste test. Oh, it's beautiful. That's the best cup of tea I've ever made. But if you want to be full British, you need some crumpets with this. So it's gonna put the cup of tea down. It's just so good. So good. Cup of tea is now down. There we go. And uh, we need to head over to the toaster. This is where we make the crumpets. We got some crumpets here. There we go. Pack of Warburton's crumpets. Don't get it confused with a trumpet. They don't taste the same. Uh, right, let's get this off the toaster. Pit of bread gone. Bread gone, mate. Buns. No, mate. No. Crumpet time. It's all about the crumpet. So, I could place four in there. I don't feel that greedy. We'll do two. Now, again, this is something else that's going to be very difficult to get out. Get out, crumpets. There we go. There's one. Look at that. You don't know what a crumpet is? Think of a bread with holes in that you melt butter in. Delicious. It's the best way I can describe it. Right, so one in the toaster. Two in the toaster. I'm feeling two today. Push it down. There we go. We set the level of toastiness, as you can see there, when it focuses. You gonna focus, camera? There we go. We set the level of toastiness to five. So five minutes, it will be toasting for. And it's gonna be pretty delicious. Why are you not focusing on the toaster? Camera's broke. It can't handle. It can't handle the Britishness. There we go. Toasty, toasty, toasty. They're going to be delicious when they come out. What we got to get now is some butter. A plate to butter them on. Then we go full British mode. Right, change of plan. I decided two was not enough. We're going for the full four. But these two should be done. Let's check their level of toastiness. Ooh. Toasty. How hot are they? Ooh, ah, very hot, very hot. Hold on. Ow, Bernie! Right, grab it. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. One crumpet on the plate. Right, we got some butter. Any butter's good. Just don't get the terrible butter. Get the lovely butter. Like, legit, like, lovely. It's just called lovely butter. Open it up. Take the little kale off it. Ooh, fresh butter. Right, see if I could scoop the butter. And then try and one-handedly butter this crumpet. Now, the thing is, when it comes to crumpets, as opposed to toast, more butter, the best. Right. This is very hard to butter, one-handedly. And hold the camera at the same time. Right, there you go. You want the butter to melt into all the little nooks and crannies? Let's have a look at that. Let's get a little zoom on that. Look at that, look at that delicious crumpet right there. You ever seen anything as beautiful in your life? Let's have a little look. Look how taste that looks. Look at the butter melting into all the little hot, oh no, too much. Reverse! Reverse! There we go. Beautiful looking crumpet. Tasty! Alright, there we go. All four crumpets buttered, looking delicious. All that's left now is the taste test. Because we had a taste test. Why are these crumpets? They're nothing. But here we go. Mmm, look at that. The steam's coming off it, the butter's melted to all the holes. It's delicious! 
and then wash it down with a nice cup of tea. That's how you be British, midget. So make more tea, more crumpets, and next time schedule your videos correctly so I can go upload these amazing tutorials. I'll argue quite uh, easy. This is the best video on your channel. And uh, everybody watching, subscribe to me before Midget deletes this video. Oh dear.